What's good, Seth? What's good? <laughs> Where are we? Y'all about to see Bing, son. The Bing Flaws Bobs. Where's he at right now, son? What's oh, up, son? Bringing that gorilla hug, dog. That gorilla hug. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You kind of, so it's like documentary style, you know, like I'm sitting like right, right here and yeah. you're just kind of like shooting the shit with me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it is, dude. Like, um. So I guess what we're talking about, um. The suicides and stuff. Dude, yeah. So talk about, yeah, how, how what, um. So like he would yeah. message, well, actually we talked about this in person because I told him like how much he helps me, um, emotionally and stuff. And like when I message him freaking out and stuff that it's like so big to me. And he's like, dude, I have so many people that message me that they want to kill themselves and that they've prevented, that I've prevented their suicide, you know, and that they've changed their minds through my philosophy, through watching me have fun and live life and make them laugh and make them feel alive. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times you want to die because you feel so dead inside. And Ryan was living and experiencing life and going to all these beautiful places to shoot film and and expressing himself so um, amazingly, you know, through all his videos. And people see the meme, but people don't understand that he had amazingly creative music. I, I told him myself, like, yo, you've helped me so many times when I message you and I'm suicidal and I wanna fucking die and I'm freaking out and stuff. And you've, like, the things that you tell me, like, talk me down from feeling like I wanna die. And he's like, I've gotten so many messages. I get messages every day from people that are all over the world that tell me that they wanted to die and they were suicidal and they did, didn't want to die anymore now that they found me. Now that they started listening to my music, now that they started following my philosophy of not giving a hood. And, um, you know, Ryan had emotional issues himself. He wasn't suicidal. Um, but he definitely suffered like bullying and different things that everybody goes through growing up, you know, like being different, like I told you, and clearly, you know, he was so creative and stuff, so he wasn't like other kids, you know, and he was just um, his own person, you know, and, and people don't like that. People want you to follow the mold and be like everybody else, and that wasn't him. That was his main thing was be yourself, think for yourself. You know, be your own person. That's so much what Zero Hoots is to me. Like, is just be your own person. Think for yourself, you know. Um, and for all of us to do that, you know. Like, he um, envisioned that for everyone. And so it wasn't just himself, you know. Like, he was pushing for everybody. And he believed in everybody, and you know. And, like, when I was telling you about that No Limit stuff, you know. Like, he totally was going to be a mogul one day and, and like, a, a boss. You know, and employ people and yeah, have people yeah. under his wing. And I would tell him that regularly, but he started to see that himself. You know, that like, I am really that much of a superstar. You know, I really can start to consolidate the underground, you know, myself and through my own power, you know. And, and he would make moves and stuff, but it was tough. It was difficult. He had a lot of a work ahead of him, you know. He was constantly working and constantly at projects and school and, you know. Yeah. So he was a busy dude, and the fact that he managed to do as much as he did amazes me, you know. Yeah. The fact that he was able to balance all these different things and, and work that hard. And then when he came to see me, I saw his work ethic. Like, I would wake up before him, but that was just because I was so full of adrenaline. Like, I would barely sleep the whole time he was there because yeah, I was yeah. full of adrenaline. I was up writing, you know, like, yeah, perfecting yeah. our songs and, you know, yeah, yeah. getting beats together and, um, you know, just being so excited that he was there that I couldn't even sleep, you know? I definitely want to do a post humorous album like you know with collaborations and new beats and um, you know other stars at this point I want to 
honestly, as like, as a brother and as Willie J, I do want to like earn the trust and the respect from the ZHG to, to lead them and to show that there is, you know, like someone who's helping people, you know, march and charge in the right direction and make it happen. Yeah. And I think by, you know, focusing on the relationships with the ZHG, um, like with you, with yeah. Daniel, with every single ZHG member yeah. traveling across the country, meeting them, understanding, understanding what Zero Hoots means to them, yeah. understanding what 3POC means to them, yeah. putting this into a, a, a format digestible to the ZHG through video and podcast and music. Um, you know, we can really get the momentum back in the ZHG. Yeah. We can, you know, show there's, you know, the heart's still beating, we still got work yeah. to do. Yeah. And then I think once people realize that there's, um, you know, some momentum back and there is someone who can help lead the charge, I, I want to start reaching out to people like Little B again or, yeah. um, you know, whoever and just get, get everyone on board, you know, have a really solid tribute album and really let the world know that this is not just a, a joke meme, but this is something that can heal people and make people's lives a lot better.